Hello, it's MML here, and as you can see, you see my desktop on the sides. That's because I'm going to show you something really cool today. And that is how to make a server in Terraria. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start this server. And as you can see in here, you get to see um, that you can create a world. I'm not going to create a world. I'm just going to start up our server for our thing. Now you can set a server password. This will happen when you start creating your server. But I'm not going to put a password in, actually. And then, event, then it'll start up the server. And um, as it does that, then you'll see it says start a new instance of Terraria to join, running on port 7777. Now the port seems to change with new versions in Terraria because it used to start with a different number. So you need to open up your server before you go and set everything up on your router because you need to know what port to run it on. So it's 7777. Now we want to close up the server. And when it saves up your world data, then you can exit out of Terraria. Then what you want to do is you want to go into the internet. You want to go into www.portforward.com. And here you can figure out exactly what type of um, router you need. And it also tells you what your uh, external IP is. This is going to be what your IP will be. I'll cover that up. This will be what your IP will be. Um, when you start your server. And that will change depending on where you are and what your router that you're using is. So um, I'm going to go over to my router, and it's different for everyone else. Mine actually is a Netgear, and it is... Uh, this one. And then as you go over here, you can skip this ad, and then you can scroll down and find... Then what you need to do is, as you can see, as you go down here, you can see all these games. But Terraria is a relatively new game, so you need to see the default guide. And when you look on your default guide, you're going to see all this fun, fancy stuff. So before before you can actually see what the instructions are, you have to do one other thing. And you have to go into this program called CMD. It comes on every single computer. And on here you go into IP config, meaning IP configuration. You scroll up here until you find IPv4 address and default gateway. So what you need is the IPv4 address and you find this number. And as you can see, when you go into Google Chrome, you'll see that um, there's a little box there and you want to fill in what your actual IPv4 address is. And then you can put that in. And then it'll give you your proper instructions. Now, as you can see, it tells you what you need to do on here. You need to go onto this link. And here you can log in and follow the instructions as it is shown on here. So it's different for every router, but uh, you do have to set it up. And um, I'll go through the general process for you people. Oh, crap. Um, yeah, I'll go through the general process for you so that we can see kind of what you're doing. So you're going to come up to something. It depends on what your router is, on what the um, username and password is. And then as you go down, um, see I have a Netgear. So um, usually you find something like port forwarding, port triggering. It depends on, like I said, what you're doing. And you have to create a custom service or a custom port forward or something like that. And for Terraria, you do instead of following the instructions there, it tells you to insert your port. So you have to type in Terraria or whatever, you know, or whatever you want to call it. You have to make sure it's set to TCP slash UDP. You need to make sure it's both. And then for the ports, it's always 7777 for both, unless the port changes in Terraria, which is why you need to check in advance. And then that would be your service, but since I already have my service here, I don't need to redo it. Now, once you've done that, you want to leave that page up in case there's something wrong. Now, what you need to do is on your port forward site, I stupidly got rid of it, you need to get a special type of port check. And I can't actually remember um, how to get it, but it's, uh, I'm going to do this this way. PC port checker, and I'll see what the link is, I'll post this link in the description for you people, because obviously I'm not doing well at telling you what the link is, so this is where the port checker is, and all you have to do is install it, you have to download it, 
And the reason why you need to do that is because you need to make sure everything's running right before you actually test it in Terraria. So you need to download your port check program there. Then, finally, what you need to do is you need to go into port checker. Then you want to test both TCP and UDP with this with the port that Terraria is. Now, if it says you're not able to ping your router, that does not matter because um, um, I can still do a server with it. In fact, maybe if it is able to ping it, that's a problem. I don't honestly know. But I do know that as long as it knows what your IP is and whether the port's open, then you're good. So, we're good. Now, in Terraria, you want to open up your server yet again. Start your server. And then you want to open up another instance of Terraria, as it will show when this pops up. As soon as it sets your liquids, you gotta set your liquids. Um, but it says start a new instance of Terraria. So basically, you just gotta open another Terraria. And as you can see, there's two Terrarias wanting run there and one here that's starting up now. Now what you need is you need to join this time and select your character. And then you gotta insert the IP you found on the port forwarding site. So in this case, it's this. Uh, I honestly forget it because... Um, was over at someone else's house running Terraria, and I can't remember what the port was. So, this is why you gotta keep your windows open. Yes. So now, you can type in your port, and you can... join your server. And as long as you can join your server, and you can move around, then you should be okay. And with that, people, I will leave you to enjoy everything and all that fun stuff so i'll leave you see ya